Hello again, and welcome back to the Guitar Reliquary. Today, I'm bringing you my SG. So what I have here is a G Gibson USA SG-61 standard in an exclusive aged cherry finish with gold hardware. This exclusive is available through American Music Supply in the United States. I got this guitar um, a little over a year ago uh, because I was on a very big Allman Brothers kick and I wanted an SG uh, for that purpose. And since then, I have um, played it fairly sparingly, uh, which is why the gold hardware still has all its luster. But every time I pick it up, I'm reminded of why I wanted it in the first place. So the, the great thing about this SG in particular, and that I was excited about when I got it, was the fact that it doesn't really have much neck dive, so it balances quite well um, right without a strap. And then on the strap, it's just fine. Most SGs, you know, take the dive for the floor as soon as you let go of them. Uh, especially for cheaper SG models. More expensive ones, Gibson does a better job of making sure that the weight distribution is good. But this aged cherry finish uh, is applied over a two-piece mahogany body. I've got a seam right in the center that runs up um, through the body. Uh, it has a nice mahogany figuring, but the stain is quite dark, so you don't really see that um, unless you have it under the right light. Uh, this mahogany two-piece body is joined to a one-piece mahogany neck, and that one-piece mahogany neck, again, has very nice figuring to it, if you can get it in the right light. And then it has the rosewood fingerboard with medium jumbo frets. And the rosewood on mine is very nice. Uh, it looks like it could probably use a little bit of, um, of F1 oil to rehydrate the board, uh, but I'm not all that worried about it at this point in time. As the weather gets colder and my forced hot air kicks on more frequently, I will definitely be uh, doing that along with humidifying my room. So it has basically the standard SG specs as any other 61 SG standard. Um, has the stop tailpiece with the um, ABR style tunematic. So this ABR style tunematic is the one that you find on most of the Les Paul standards. It has uh, studs that the bridge is mounted to so the, the screws themselves don't go into the wood like on vintage reissue models. Uh, but the ABR is very nice. It doesn't have the retaining wire, uh, which I love because the retaining wire usually makes some noise and you've got to mess with that uh, or buy a replacement bridge, depending on what you want to do. Uh, that can be a downside for some people because the saddles can just fall out um, when you take the strings off if they're not in there snugly. It has uh, hex adjustment screws to adjust the height of the bridge, which is another fantastic feature of uh, the ABR Gibson Tunomatic here. Um, so I don't have to like relax the strings and use the thumb wheels. I can just take an Allen key and lower the bridge. As two humbuckers, uh, these are the 61 Rhythm and 61T uh, or treble pickups. Uh, these were in that. Uh, Les Paul that I did the video on uh, a while ago, same pickups, obviously not these ones, these have gold covers, the ones that were in the Les Paul had no covers. Um, so they, I think they've since been replaced with 60s burst buckers um, in the Les Pauls, but I think that you still, in the 61 standard, get the 61 rhythm and treble pickups. The pickups don't split. There are no splits on the wiring uh, for this guitar because it is wired like a 61. It's all hand wired, orange drop capacitors, three position switch, up is your neck, middle is neck and bridge, and down is bridge. The five ply teardrop pick guard, I love that style. I don't like the full face um, guard on an SG uh, for whatever cosmetic reason, it just doesn't uh, do it for me. 
The uh, inlays are beautiful um, acrylic block inlays. Uh, they really have a nice figure to them, which you'll see in the video uh, that I'll put on the screen. The uh, frets on this are the older medium jumbo style, so they're taller than the current ones that Gibson is using, which makes it easier for me to play. Uh, the fretboard radius is a standard Gibson 12 inch radius. Comes with uh, what looks to me like a graph tech nut. Um, I don't think they're using Tectoid on the SG61s. I think it's graph tech. It's definitely not bone because it doesn't have the luster or lubricity of bone. Uh, let's see. 24 and 3 quarter inch scale like other SGs. So it plays uh, the same as Les Pauls and SGs that you're familiar with has the Gibson Deluxe Cluson style tuners that you can see on the back of the headstock with that vintage green sort of um, keystone tuning button, which I, I like the looks of. The neck is a slim taper neck. Uh, it feels wider than other slim taper necks. I don't know if that's just the SG and the fret access that you get way up at the top of the neck, as opposed to on a Les Paul where you have the whole big heel uh, of the neck blocking it. Uh, I would say mine's probably around seven pounds. It's not very heavy. And uh, yeah, just a real solid guitar. So the I told you before the reason I bought this was for the Allman Brothers. The reason I wanted this color was because of the Warren Haynes uh, government mule video for Snatch It Back and Hold It. If you watch that, he's playing an aged cherry SG in it. Of course, his has three pickups and cream. Um, and, uh, my plan originally was to change the black to cream, but I haven't done that. I kind of like the looks of it as is. I did, however, change the knobs. It came with the 60s reflector knobs, which I don't like, and I just put some gold top hat knobs on, um, from Vintage Forge or one of those places that sells the knobs. Fret work on this was perfect. It didn't require any fret leveling. Uh, didn't require any touch-ups of any kind. There's about an equivalent amount of relief on both sides of the neck, which is great because sometimes Gibsons have more relief on the bass side than on the treble side, which I tend not to uh, like very much, especially if it makes it so that I have a lot of relief on the bass side and no relief on the treble side. So a subtle warp to the neck, but that's not the case with this one. Uh, I got it set up to my normal specs, uh, 4 64ths of an inch on the the base side, 12th fret, uh, 3.5 64ths of an inch uh, on the treble side. And uh, I really like it. It sounds good. It plays very well. Uh, the color is what sold me on it. I'm not a uh, sort of tomato soup cherry, which is the the current color of cherry that Gibson does on a lot of the USA models. Um, the custom shops have a deeper red, which I like the looks of. The more orange red is not to my liking. So, yeah, I did a track that tries to emulate some ACDC style SG tones uh, on the rhythm. And then I just found a lead tone that I liked and I went with that. Um, so I hope you'll take a listen to it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And enjoy.
All right, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the track. Please check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.